at the end of the day here at PAX Prime 2015 with my cameraman, Max Barbonell. Max, how you doing? The man, the myth, the camera, the legend. I'm good. I'm good, Evan. Great. Max, we've learned a lot together this week yeah. as you've been behind the lens. And one of the things we've learned is that Vermintide, Warhammer End Times Vermintide, yes. is one of our favorite, actually our, our actual favorite game of yeah. PAX. Yeah. yeah, Vermintide wore it best this year. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So it was your first time playing it. I had some yeah. exposure to it previously, and you were really surprised by it. Tell me how I found you. I mean, it, it, it was amazing. Uh, we pull up to the little two computer station they have set up, and uh, immediately just, I kind of, I never do this, I kind of just hopped on, uh, and I was blown away by how s just smooth and hopping in, kind of intuitive it was. Really a pleasure. Just within minutes, I was... Uh, Taking swings with an axe in 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 and the weight of of this weapon in game was just so uh, gratifying when I was smashing these uh, uh, yeah the the, sca the, the skaven, skaven yeah all the various tiers of enemy rats that you're you're chewing through I think what surprised me most is just how far along it's come since I saw it in January it was very much in a, in a pre alpha state when I saw oh, yeah. it in January and this is the biggest game that Fast Shark has ever done by far in terms of budget and personnel and art assets. And they're, they're really doing a great job so far. They showed us some, some levels that nobody's seen before, which yeah. our viewers are probably seeing right now in the footage. I mean, the game is gorgeous. It, yeah. it, it, the levels are beautiful. You can tell there's a lot of thought put into the environments, the weapons, the... I mean, it's Warhammer, so there's this wacky lore. I mean... Uh, well, that's the thing. Like, neither of us are Warhammer fans, necessarily. Right. Like, we like 40K, like, about a, an average sure. amount and stuff like that. But it comes through really nicely. It's it's exaggerated fantasy. It's not, it's not generic, and... One of the things that sticks out to me is they've done a great job of, you know, translating those left or dead mechanics in a way that is very familiar. I mean, they have some enemies that'll, that'll jump on you and sort of, you know, pin you down and hit you. Enemies that'll pull you away. Yeah. That's familiar to anybody who's played any amount sure, of left yeah. or dead. But they feel, I don't know, it's, it's not like, oh, this again. It's not like they, you know, it's it's not unoriginal necessarily. I think, I, I think I, what did I say yesterday? It was like left for dead took a shot of whiskey and grew some hair on its chest. <laughs> yeah. I, it really well, feels like this grown up adult mm -hmm. version, very similar gameplay style, uh, but it, 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 it's so much, uh, I want to say more mature. Yeah, well, it's true because left for dead was never truly, yeah, mature. I mean, it was it was, it was funny a lot of time. I mean, yeah. A lot of the dialogue was, was written that way, I think, just to soften the blow of your encounters and stuff like that. And that's a great style of game. Even, but, even the, like, cartoony bright red blood. But when you take a two-handed war hammer and just plop it right down on the skull of a rat and the head is just gone, like, you don't know where it went. Yeah. You're like, okay, this, this is a pretty brutal game. It's, it's so gratifying. Yeah. I, I can't think of anything else that made me laugh. Yeah. Like in a, in a positive way, yeah. Pax, I, I started playing as the Bright Wizard, sure. which is a sort of flame uh, magic user class. And I, I equipped a staff that had this like beam of, of fire that would just emit out yeah. seemingly at infinite range. I'm not really sure. I mean, it's making me smile just recalling yeah. it. Yeah. And it just like cooks rats at range. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, I, I just want to carry this around throughout the whole game. And it, uh, it was great to see in the loot system too that, you know, unlike Left 4 Dead, you're going to be able to swap out different weapons. So there are staffs that don't use that ability at all. Right. You know, there are sword and shield you can use with the dwarf. I mean, for I was example. running around with the dual pistols for yeah. a little while and just like the, the speed and the gunplay, it was like, it was mind blowing a little mm. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think part of it is like, you know, not, you know, Fat Shark isn't like a mainstream developer and it's, it's been great to see them sort of embrace this huge opportunity and, and kind of run with it. They're passionate Warhammer fans. It's yeah. great to see their, their love kind of bleed into the game. Well, you know, and I think the other kind of one of the great things for me is like, I, I you know, I love a game that has lore, it has background, uh, but they're not forcing you through cutscenes. They're not shoving it down your throat. It's easily approachable. Uh, I could totally see myself hopping in on a lunchtime game uh, and and just smashing some some skating, some rats. So it was, it, it was great to just get excited, like really excited for this game. I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. Yeah. So we're still waiting to hear exactly when it's coming out. They yeah. told us when it's done. We've heard that before. So, yeah, there you go, folks. Our our favorite game from PAX, Warhammer End Times Vermintide. Max, your first time playing it. Good impression. Great impression. Yeah. It's, Great. It's going gonna, it's gonna to blow your head into your body with a large Warhammer. <laughs> All right. I'm looking forward to playing it soon. Hopefully we'll get our hands on a beta. Definitely let you guys know. And we've got one more day of PAX here to go. And I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta go like get blood transfusions. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>